Okay, this um, tutorial is over AutoCAD of drawing one and drawing two. Um, this is after we've created layers. Again, we create the layers center, object, dimension, hidden, and projection. As you can see up here in uh, the uh, upper right hand corner, we'll go ahead and delete these. We delete them by highlighting them, hit E, enter or highlight them and hit delete. Now the first thing you're going to do is get in the right layer. Up here is the correct layers. If you click the drop down, you can see the layers you want to work in. I'm going to work in the O, which is the object. Okay, I'm going to come over here and get a line tool or L enter. I'm going to click. Now it says specify first point. I'm just going to click anywhere and then point in the direction if this is not straight I need to make it straight by hitting F8 or coming down and turning on the ortho you see I'm hovering out at the bottom it says ortho mode command L is a, another shortcut so command L changes it command L go in the right direction in this drawing we're going to go 5 inches so hit 5 enter hit escape Escape gets me out of the command that I'm in. So right now I've got a line that's five inches. I know that the height is two and a half, so I'm going to offset. I can either go to this icon over here or type in offset. Offset, the height is 2.5. I'm going to type it in. Offset distance, 2.5. Enter. Now it says select the object to offset. I'm going to click this one and point in the direction I want to go, which I'm pointing up. If I was to go down below the line, it's going to go down. So I'm pointing up, clicking, escape, L, enter, and draw my lines. And I hit escape, L, enter, click, click, and escape. Now I've got a 5 by 2.5 inch front view. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move up to the front or up at the top. I'm going to offset one inch between my top of my front view to the bottom of my top view. So offset, one, enter, go up, and at the same time I want an inch in between my right view also. So I'm going to go ahead and offset that since I have it loaded. Now to get out of the command I hit escape. Now I'm out of it. Now look at my drawing. My width is an inch and a half. So again, I'm offsetting again. Offset, 1.5, enter. Select the line. Do it to the top. I'm also going to do it to the right view. Now I'm pretty much done with my box. Except I'm going to now go to my projection lines. Projection is up here. Now I'm going to project all my horizontal lines up. Oh, I missed it. Undo, escape, L, enter. Make sure I get this button here that where the green node pops up. I'll come up, L, enter. Come up, escape, L, enter. Escape, L, enter, click, click, escape. Now I have projection lines, now I need to use them. So I'm going to go ahead and change over to the object because now I'm going to cover these with object lines. Escape, L, enter, escape, L, enter. Escape, L, enter, escape. Now if I turned off my projection line, you can see that we have a nice um, rectangle that's 5 by 2.5 tall by 1.5 wide. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn this back on. Okay, if we go ahead and go to our drawing, our drawing has different um, different things going on. If you look at the top view, it says there is a line one inch over 
Okay, so we could go offset. Again, it's one inch from this line over somewhere around here. So it's parallel. So I'm going to hit one inch here over. Now if you look at your right view, it's given that it's a half inch up. From this line, it goes up one half. Again, all we do is offset one half, which is 0.5, enter, click, and click up. Okay. Now, since most of the time we project up and we project over from our front view, this time we have to project down from our top and project over from our right view. So let's go ahead and click on our projection. L enter. Now I'm going to go from these vertical lines, go down, just cross over, L enter. Now I'm going to do something, what it might do, if I come over here and just stop here, because that's where I want to go to, it's going to go down. From here I'm just going to hit U enter, and it let me undo that. I want to go past it so those green nodes don't pop up, just like that. Okay, go back into our object line because I'm getting ready to make a part of the object. Now we have a line here and this is our starting spot for the angle. And here is our stopping spot. So if I go click here, L enter, and I'm going to go there to there. Now I'm finished. Okay, I'm going to turn my projection on because I've already used them. Now I just need to trim up what I don't need. I don't need this part or this part. Again, Mr. Colton has a bald head, so I'm going to click on his bald head and trim the hair that I don't need. So we click trim, which is right below the offset. And it says select the object that you want to trim down to or Mr. Colton's head because we're going to shave it click you have to hit enter and now it says select the objects that you want to trim I'm just going to come over here and go like that so now we have successfully done drawing one now you're going to go up file save as put it in our documents folder I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder AutoCAD and then put my name with, I'm going to do it like that drawing one hit save okay now I've got my drawing one saved the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to realize that every shape every problem that we're doing is five by two and a half by one half. So technically, I'm just going to come in here and delete everything inside. So I can go back and make a rectangle again. So I'm going to start over, offset 2.5 from the t bottom up. Now I can draw my line like so. Turn my projection on. So I can go ahead and delete all these because we don't need them for drawing two. Okay, so now I'm started over with a nice rectangle uh, for drawing two. So now if you look at drawing two, it has the front view and the right view completed. So let's go to the front view it says that there's a line two and a half over so there's a line from here over two and a half I'm going to offset the distance which is you, know, you always got to type it in 2.5 enter click here come over now if you look at your right view there's a line right down the middle which is three quarters inch over offset 0.75 enter perfect now I need to do my top view okay so we need to turn our projection or get our projection layer L enter and this is the one I'm going to project 
right there. Okay. Now most of you have tried done this before where we go at a 45 degree angle um, but I, you can still kind of do that but I want you to understand if you take this line right here which is the vertical line on the right view you come up so come up and hit that imaginary 45 and then come over okay when you see that start looking for those so you don't have to actually draw them you can still draw them if you want and if you want to I'll show you how but I want you to start trying to visualize it coming up and then coming straight over okay or you can just look how far is it from here to here well the answer we already drew it which is three quarters of an inch so I'm going to offset 0.75 enter I'm going to click up and just do that so now we have the beginnings of our top view if you look at the drawing there is nothing over here there is a little line right here and a line here so I need to get rid of this and this so first let me draw with my object line this little segment from here to there now the only thing we need to do is get rid of this line so how do we do it? we trim we click the line we want to cut to which is this one or this one doesn't matter which one you do that's Mr. Colton's head and here's the hair that we want to get rid of hit enter and click I'm hitting escape now this is perceived to be there but if you remember it's a projection line it's yellow let's go ahead and turn it off and let's see if that's what we have we're almost there the only thing we have left is this is needs to be cut out it's a notch so it'll be like a little uh, shape right through here so again I'm going to go to trim and I know I'm cutting this line down to here and I know I need to get rid of this section which cuts down to this one hit enter and let's get rid of both at the same time <coughs> excuse me so there is your drawing too so if we do this do not go up and hit file save you will lose your first drawing we need to go to save as then we come in click on one change it to two save okay that's how you can do quickly uh, do these drawings again all the shapes are five inches long by two and a half tall by one and a half wide the best thing to do is go through and delete all the insides after you do one so it saves you a lot of time if you go up to file new you lose your line types and you have to start over thank you